I feel like it was just my mindset, like working after practice and not just working on the run game part of it, but working on pass rush. But I feel like going into the season, everyone was like knocking me off for my uh, run, or run blocking or run defending. So I feel like I was really working on run defending, run defending throughout the season. And then once I finally worked on just pass rush, that's when everything started clicking and then everything started going up with it. With. The excitement level. So. Oh, so <laughs> excitement level. You no, know, it's a really exciting period. Face the top five team, and especially Clemson. I mean, it's like my third time playing up, so it's just a great atmosphere to play in, especially at Notre Dame Stadium. It's just going to be great. Going to allow you to be able to put pressure. Yeah, if you guys like watch like the film like in depth, it's not me just making the plays. It's like a lot of time just Riley going up the middle, and then that's when he flushes them out to me, where I'm just sitting out there on the outside. But I get a lot of props to my teammates. That's why I'm not like celebrating trying to hype up the crowd i go back to my teammates like hey thank you thank you thank you and like dab them up about stuff like that there's always i already know it wasn't just me that just made that play it wasn't me like making a perfect move or anything it was the pressure going up the middle and it's just flushing it out and coach golden said jordan botello's practiced better over the last couple of weeks what do you kind of see from him oh yeah i'm always i'm always with jb all the time and he has been practicing a lot better and it showed up in the game he got was it two two, two sacks or one and a half sacks something like that but it's just great to see the production that he has been getting. He's a beast on the, in practice and he just finally shows in, in the game.